Okay, so here's a quick video with a couple of travel tips for uh, Runes of Magic. Um, these are things that I learned, which uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of Runes of Magic veterans might know. Um, so, But these are things that weren't obvious to me, or I had to test and play with a little bit, so I figured I'd show them to you, that way you, know, you don't have to go through the same warning curve that I did. Okay, I have got a quest here for... Uh, weird wild boar. I've got to go to Barrett and um, turn in a whole bunch of uh, boar tusks. And uh, I don't know where he is. Okay. Now one thing I can do is I can click on his name and as you can see my character is going to start running towards where he is. Now the other thing that I can do is go down here to quest receiver's position. This will show that there's a flag right there. If I click on his name, well, I don't have to, it's highlighted, but if I click on follow, I close out these windows, we'll see that I've got a red arrow here. This will show you where you want to go, and a lot of things can be found, like here under World Search. You can pretty much enter anything you want in here, and um, it'll show up, like uh, here's the Valley Slob, it's way up here. If, if I uh, select follow, you can see I've got another arrow down here. So to get rid of the arrows, you just highlight down here, click on delete. It's pretty nice. Um, it's it's good that it's built into the game. Uh, so make good use of it because it'll let you let you figure out where you're going a lot easier. Now the second travel tip, I know a lot of people who play this for free are not going to like this, but uh, second travel tip is get a mount. Okay. 60% uh, run speed, uh, it saves you a ton of time, and MMOs, when you get down to it, are games about time. Now, I've got an add-on here that uh, shows the prices of each of these based on the, uh, the amount that I've paid for the diamonds. So let me flip over to permanent. And as you can see, a regular 60 speed mount, $8.36. Um, one of these, you know, nicer looking mounts right here, or like the, uh, the War Tiger, Ooh, hold on, there we go, or like the War Tiger here, um, $16.60, um, at my, you know, the price level I buy diamonds at. I bought one of these, because I just didn't see spending double for 5% more movement, and the looks, they're just looks, I'm not worried about that. Um, the reason for that is, you know, you just start running along, and this is how fast you're running and it's going to take me forever to get down here to the new moon camp but uh, pop onto my mount three seconds and now I'm hauling butt so this is the way to get around the game okay here I am at Barrett and uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn in that quest there it is okay now okay so, now, if I open up this, you'll see that I've got eight more turn-ins that I could do. Now, I could run with my horse back and forth, but there's a faster way to do it, and it's called uh, Travel Runes, which is through this interface here. These are also something that you can get uh, with diamonds, also with Ferris coins, so it's free. And what you need is a marking ink to mark the place you want to teleport to, and these transport runes. So I want to mark this spot next to Barrett. So I select slot number five, mark trans uh, transport point. Once that's done, I already have one here for uh, Silverfall right here. So what I'm going to do is highlight that and click on transport. And what that'll do, three second cast, short little loading screen here because I'm in the same zone. And here I am right back at Silverfall. Now, <laughs> here I am telling you to use the horse, and I don't use mine. Okay, so now I go traipsing over here, pop off my mount, grab the quest, select New Moon Forest, transport, and here I am right back at Barrett for a quick turn in. There we go. So, as you can see, that's a that's a, a pretty nifty thing. I wouldn't recommend doing that because transport coins or uh, transport runes do cost real world money, and um, 
doing 10 turn-ins a day, you pretty much are never going to keep up. But uh, I just wanted to show you the marking and teleporting portion. Now there's another rune in my bag. Here it is. Whoops. Come on, open up. There we go. Okay, it is the Home Sweet Home rune. Now what this rune does is it will take you right back to your house like this. So I click on it. Notice I'm at Barrett's camp right here, okay? Quick loading because I was just in my house a little bit. There I am. So uh, if you need to change classes or swap out armor or, uh, uh, you know, grab stuff out of your chest, you can do that. Then when you leave by talking to your uh, housemaid and clicking on leave the house, and here we appear right back at Barrett's camp. So uh, the uh, Home Sweet Home runes are a quick way to uh, be able to switch a class when uh, you're out farming and then someone says, oh, I need, like for me, I'm a knight priest. Oh, we need a priest. Boom, just switch, come right back. Okay, let me teleport into Silverwind and show you the last one that I had to earn, or Silverfall. Now, I knew that uh, the little portals that are in most of the towns, you can uh, talk to this guy right here and set your, your free recall to this point. Um, in case you didn't know, uh, you've also got two other recalls, one for Logar and one for uh, Ryfort. Now, the other thing that you can do with this guy right here is you talk to him and then you can transport to another city. Nominal fee, 250 gold, really not that bad. And here I am outside of uh, outside of the capital. There's Snoop the Stubborn. And uh, if I talk to him here at this portal, notice I can go to Logar and Silverfall as well. Um, 250 in-game gold, this is probably the quickest way to get from zone to zone um, on the cheap for the people who want to play for free. Uh, so, uh, that's pretty much it. There's a few other runes, travel runes, but I haven't uh, used them yet, so I will cover that in a later video. But, what I will show is uh, the marking ink. Um, here it is, 300 of these coins gets you 10 ink and uh, 15 diamonds gets you 10 ink and if we click on this again and do transport runes uh, you like I said you can get them for uh, diamonds and uh, 39 for 10 a buck 64 to bounce around uh, also 80 first coins which uh, usually is one day so that's why I wouldn't you know do 10 turn-ins uh, for the coins just to get these because you're losing out in the end but uh, like I said it's it's a quick way to get around and uh, once I get those other ruins or if I find any other travel tips I'll make an update to this video and let you know oh silly me I forgot one other thing over here pretty much everyone knows this but I'm just gonna put it out there for the newbies um, the capital cities have got these uh, transporters and uh, you can transport to the different locations. It's always good to know uh, where you can go. Here's one, here's lower east, uh, sorry, lower west, lower east, central, and then the three other locations in administration. Uh, you don't have to go running through the uh, capital city. This is just a quick way to get around if, uh, if you remember to use them, okay? And it's gonna take a while, but there we go, have fun.